How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to the Foot Champions Elite, the series where we try and get the best possible rewards from the Foot Champions. Today, we play our first 10 games. Now, lads, if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head on over to j2a.com, use that code M89. Every single link that you will need is right there in the description below. And this weekend, as you all know, there is a stipulation, a maximum of three nations. So we have went French, we have went English, and we have went Portuguese at the back. Red, Inform, Hugo Lloris. We have Inform Walker right back, Lauren Blong at centre back, team of the group stage for Rad in a beautiful blue number at centre back. We have Luke Short left back. Maybe that was a little mistake. I'll get into that later in the video. Pogba, Vieira, Wayne Rooney. We have Sterling who comes off straight away. Benzema and Ronaldo. Lads, let's get into the games. So here we go then, lads. My first opponent has a beautiful Belgian number. Well, it's not so beautiful. He's got Fogan Hazard in there. Origi, Bachawi, Witzel, Fellaini, Tillemans. Like I said, I bring Stillen off straight away. And I change formation to a 4 one 2 one 2 And you can see me send my instructions in the background. Why? It's because instructions in-game, if you change the D-pad tactics or you change the formation, it changes your default instructions. So, you've got to set it again. Strikers, get in behind. Middle CM, stay back while attacking. And the left back and right back on stay back while attacking as well. Now I bring Stillenoff, I bring Hazard on. Later on in the episode, I bring Stillenoff, I bring Kante on. Play Pogba at Cam. That is where he's much more effective than any other position on this game because he can get involved so much. This is when he's popped up at Cam there, assistant Benzema. Benzema taps home, makes it 2 0, and forces my opponent to rage quit. 24 minutes on the clock, 13 shots, 9 on targets. His 0 to 0. We dominated that game. Now we have one win on the board. We need another one for bronze 2. Can we get it against Jamie Vardy, Sterling, Ozil, Gundo, Dembele, and Wayne Rooney? Rooney in my side is kind of a powerhouse. My midfield is full of powerhouses. You've got Kante, who comes on off the bench. You've got Pogba, you've got Vieira, and you've got Wayne Rooney. In midfield, I think you need that physicality to push players off the ball. Yes, I could have went with someone like Dembele, but it wouldn't have met the requirements for this weekend, which is a stipulation of a maximum of three nations. So for me, Wayne Rooney is the perfect fit. Next up, Immobile in form. We've got Dybala, Marquisio, Perolo, and Nayan Golan. In this game, I give away the lead. I just give it away. Honestly, what... <laughs> What am I doing there? What the hell am I doing? I kick the ball at Giovingo's arse and Giovingo taps home to make it 1-0 in the game. A nice through ball, it's Insigne, passes it across and it is Berardi who makes it 2-0. My opponent before the game actually disconnected so this is the team I was playing and he was very, very good. Ibra into the area and we do scramble it home to make it 2-1 in the game. Eden Hazard with the goal. Yeah, we are hanging on, lads. Alexandro is bullied by Kante. On off the bench, doing very well. Ibra on off the bench. Bang, back the net. It's 2-2 in the game. It forces extra time. In extra time, Ronaldo plays in Ibra. Back to Ronaldo, and Ronaldo does score. And a few moments later, in the second half of extra time, it was that combo again. Ronaldo into Ibra, back to Ronaldo. And this is a beautiful finesse right in the top corner to seal the deal. We win four goals to two. In that game, as you can see, against Cambridge City, it was very, very close. We had more possession, 53 to 47. What I will say about possession, is I'm not a possession player, I'm a counter-attacker. On this game, I love the counter-attack. And when I've got possession, I don't have a clue what to do with it. I don't have a bloody clue. Do you pass it forward? Do you pass it backwards? Do you pass it sideways? Do you walk with the ball? Do you run with the ball? And I'm trying to learn. Learn off Bateson. Bateson, what he does do now, it's a possession slow base game, so it's not like boring your opponent. It's clever, intricate passes, and I'm trying to work that into my game and do it quite fast, and it is working for me. In this game, we go 2-0 up, and then we go 3-0 up. It's passed out wide to Benzema, back to Rooney, and Rooney does score. And when Rooney scores, he loves looking through triangles, and that is exactly what he did with the celebration. Then it's Walker in the Vieira, in the Pogba, now it calm. Wayne Rooney, a nice ball roll, plays in Ronaldo, 
Can Ronaldo score? No, he can't. But Benzema on the rebound acrobatically makes it 4-0 in the match. Happy bloody days. We win four goals to nil against Kia United. 15 shots to his three, 11 on targets. I should be scoring more. Honestly, with 11 shots on target, you should be scoring more goals. Next up, we now have four wins out of five. Wait, four wins out of four. We need five to get the next rank and get in the rankings. Basically, once you had five wins, you can start getting ranked. Next up, we have a full English with a bit of Belgian thrown in there, and Eden has had a bit of French thrown in there with Hugo Lloris and Kante. We take the lead. It's Ronaldo with a nice goal before Pogba fakes his way into the area and makes it 2 0 in the game. And he goes into the dab. We make it 3 0. It's Ronaldo turning his man. In that kind of situation, you're never catching Ronaldo. I don't care which variation of the card you've got. In that position, you are not catching any Ronaldo on this game, whether that be his striker cards, his 96 or his 95, or his normal card. We win our fifth game and are now ranked. Next up, Mbolo. He's got Ronaldo Sanchez farming in there. Boateng, Hummels, Lam, Hector at left back, Goretzka, Road, a very solid looking squad. We take the lead in this one. It's Kante, it's a Vieira, it's a Pogba. This is nice pass and play in the Benzema. And this is what I was talking about. The slow build up play. It's effective in certain situations. And in that one, it was very effective. We make it 1 0 through Karim Benzema. Then Ronaldo inside the area. That is a beautiful, beautiful finesse. Pass the goalkeeper, the wrap of the game, and win it. Two goals to nil. Six shots is four. Four on target is three. And 57% possession. Like I was saying, I'm starting to play the possession game. I'm starting to learn it. Next up, Lacazette, Ben Arthur, Martial. He's going to make it Cyan in there, which is a bit strange, considering this weekend it's a maximum of three nationalities. So to choose an Armenian in a side, it's very strange. He takes the lead. It's a goal by Lacazette, and he makes it 1-0. In that instance there, if you want to kind of rewind it on the Wayne Rooney bit, I passed the ball miles before he passed it. The passing delay this weekend is absolutely ridiculous. We do concede another before Vieira comes forward, waits it across, it comes to Pogba, back to Vieira, and Vieira makes it 2-1 in the game. My opponent wasn't done. I wasn't done. Ronaldo makes it 2-2 and draws us level. Then, heartbreaks, absolute heartbreak. It's Rooney committing a foul inside the area. All I wanted to do was kind of go shoulder to shoulder with him. Rooney thought, no, I'll stick out a leg. Brought him down and gives away the game. It was a very tight game. 50-50 possession. Six shots, five on target for each opponent. A very, very tight game. It could have went either way. So, GG's to my opponent. A very tough opponent. And we do take our first loss. Then, what you don't want to see after that is a legend petite. A Kante, a Griezmann, a Coleman, Morata off cam. That's a bit of a weird one, but I think he subbed them out very early on in the game. It is Varane with a goal 12 minutes into the game. My Varane for me has been performing over the odds. He's been sensational. Before Ronaldo inside the area, hammers it across, makes it 2-0 on the cusp of half time. 45 minutes in, then 68 minutes in, it's Kante inside the area to Ronaldo, shot rebounds eventually to Benzema, and Benzema finishes off the game and makes it 3-0 against Too Easy ME69 or whatever you want to say, but we do win the game, 11 shots is won, we dominated the match, and he does rage quit, we have now 7 wins, we need to win our next two to be 9 for 1, if we lose, it could put us in a very bad situation. We come against Lewandowski, Draxler, Coleman, Royce as a right winger. And he performs so well in this one. And this is what I was talking about earlier on. That slow possession game. My opponent played that and he ripped me apart. He goes 1-0 up. It's Draxler with the goal. Before more slow build-up play, he waits his time. He bides his time. Plays in Lewandowski. Shoots across the keeper. It's rebounded to Draxler. And he makes it 2-0 in the game. We do it back. It's Pogba on the ball. Turning inside the area. Giving it to Vieira. Vieira into Kante. And Kante scores to make it 2-1 in the game. And I thought, huh? happy days. We are back in the game. Before my opponent, straight after, from kickoff, comes forward. Douglas Costa into Royce. And Royce in the back of the net to make it 3-1. 
in the game. Surely there is no coming back. Ronaldo does very well. That is a sensational finish to make it 3-2 in the match. And then we come forward yet again. It's Pogba into one of our super subs in Douglas Costa. As you can see, his defensive line is basically on the edge of his area. I think he was playing counter-attack or park the bus, one or the other. We played into the area. Costa with many headers, and it is Ronaldo who scores to make it 3-3. We are back in the game. And then, in the 90th minute, I can't describe it, lads. I can't describe it. We lose yet another game against Buster. Four goals to three. In that game, he probably edged it in possession. But in terms of shots, we should be doing ten times better with ten shots on, uh, on goal, basically. We should be doing better. So I took look short out. In comes... Player of the group stage, or team of the group stage, whatever you want to call him, Sidibe. He comes in at left back in place of Shaw. Shaw is doing well, but Sidibe offers pace. He offers the physical. Honestly, he's just a better all-round left back in general. Next up, Schneiderlin, Kante, Dembele. He's got player of the Hazard, player of the month Sterling, and Lukaku. And it was that Sterling who made it 1-0. Lukaku with a brilliant through ball. That's a sensational goal. Those kind of goals I really like on this game because it just shows the movement of the other player. Still in there was sensational. It's Pogba, drives into the area, eventually will cut it back. It's to Wayne Rooney, turns, smashes, makes it 1-1. We are back in the game in the second half with Wayne Rooney's second goal of today's episode. He's doing very well before Pogba intercepts, plays in Rooney, plays in Vieira, back to Pogba. In this situation, I didn't know what to do, but in this situation, I definitely knew what to do. Nice skill from him, and he makes it 2-1 in the game, and wins us the match. We are now 8 for 2. 7 shots for him, 11 for me. It was a very close game. We had more possession yet again, and as you can see, we advance in a silver free. Lads, let's go have a look at the stats. So on to the stats from the day, lads, and that's what we're going to do in the future episodes, and in this episode, look at the current standings for both the goals and the record. At the end of the weekend, I'll bring in the monthlies and I'll bring in the overall record. But for the day, we have won eight times, lost twice, scored 26 goals. That's not too bad. Conceded 10. That's not too bad either in 10 games. But in some games, I was conceding like four goals. I've got to stop that. I really have to stop that. A goal difference of plus 16. And in terms of the goal scorers today, Ronaldo's on nine. He did very well. Benzema's on seven. A great strike and partnership. Then Pogba comes in with two. Top assist. Pogba owns that. From Cam, he's so much more involved in the game. And he just does a good job in general. Nine assists for him. Two for Ronaldo. Two for Benzema. Most man matches, Ronaldo's not featured because... In the games where Ronaldo scored, my opponent generally rage quit. And for rage quits on this game, you don't get a man the match. Pogba on two, Plank on one, Benzema on one. And when it comes down to team lads, I think I'm going to keep the same team for the rest of the weekend. Because it's doing very well. In-game change formation to the 4-1-2-1-2. Bring on Kante, move Pogba to Cam. Happy days, lads. It should be. Happy days. And lads, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, smash the hell. Once again, I want that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.